Hi everyone, welcome to INC Kids Adventures. I'm Ryan Troy from Orange County, California. Where will today's episode take us? We've landed at Bible time. Hi, I'm Brother Chris Galevo, and I'm a children's worship service teacher from the locale of Chicago. Today we're going to learn a Bible story that is also a parable about the Good Samaritan. Let's watch. The Good Samaritan. There once was a man from Jerusalem going to Jericho. While he was on his way, robbers attacked him. The robbers stripped him of his clothes, beat him up, and left him half dead. There was a priest who happened to go down the same road. The priest saw the wounded man, but passed by on the other side. A Levite who also went down that road went over and looked at the man, but then he too passed on the other side. Eventually, a Samaritan traveled down the same road. When the Samaritan saw the injured man, his heart was filled with pity. Because of his compassion for the man, he went over to him, poured oil and wine on his wounds, and bandaged them. The Samaritan also put the man on his own animal and took him to an inn where he took care of him. He took out two silver coins and gave them to the innkeeper and said, Take care of him, and when I come back this way, I will pay you whatever else you spend on it. All right, kids. Were you paying close attention to the story about the Good Samaritan? Let's see what we remember. Question one, what did robbers do to a man from Jerusalem who was traveling to Jericho? They stripped him of his clothes, beat him up, and left him half dead. Now there was a Jewish priest who by chance was traveling down the road. Did this Jewish priest help the man or did he pass him by? He passed by. There was also a Levite who came to that place. Did the Levite help the man from Jerusalem? No, brother. The Levite also walked by him. But when a Samaritan came across and saw the man, what did he feel? He felt sorry when he saw the man who was attacked by robbers. Because the Samaritan felt sorry for the man and had compassion on him, what did he do? He went over to him poured oil and wine on his wounds, and bandaged them. After cleaning and bandaging the man's wounds, what did the Samaritan do? He put the man on his own animal and took him into an inn and took care of him. And on the next day, what did the Samaritan give to the innkeeper? Two silver coins. That's right, brothers and sisters. After giving the silver coins, he told the innkeeper, Take care of him, and when I come back this way, I will pay you whatever else you spend on him. So, INC kids, what should we learn from this parable? We should love and do good to our fellow men who are in need, especially our brothers and sisters in the church. Good job, INC kids. I had such a good time with all of you. I hope you take today's lesson to heart. But before we end our adventure today, let's head over to see our friend Sweetie. I think she has a new word to share with us. Dedication. Dedication. Whoa, that's a big word. Dedication means to be committed and work hard for something or doing something with all your heart and mind. Being dedicated to something also means that you spend a good amount of time working on it. For example, when your parents tell you that you need to be dedicated in your studies, that means you spend time studying and learning what the teacher is telling you. And also, practicing what you learned at home. Do we only learn things in school? No! Of course not! We also learn things where? Can
Can anyone guess? In the children's worship service. That's right, friends. In the children's worship service, we have teachers too. They help us learn how to properly perform our duties, to be good Christians, and how to worship our Almighty God and our Lord Jesus Christ with dedication. So, how do we show dedication in school? Spend time studying and learning. How about in our worship service? How do we show dedication there? How should we worship our Almighty God? With, With all, all our, our heart. heart. That's right. Good job, INC kids. Before we end our adventure, let's all get up, stretch, and do a 30 second active break. Well, that's all the time we have for this adventure. Thank you for coming along. Join us next week and find out where we're heading to next. Could it be your district? And oh, before you go, you can find all these videos on our YouTube page at youtube.com slash INCKids. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye everyone.